Hey everyone, it's Lena. Thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. I'd like to give a big thank you to Strathmore Artist Papers for supporting my art and my channel by sponsoring this video, and they were very kind to send me some of their new 400 series oil painting paper. So in this video, I will be sharing with you the process of the painting I made, as well as some information about this paper. For this painting, I'm working with Princeton synthetic paintbrushes, and as always, my Gamblin Artist Oils and Mediums. The first step in my process is to tone the paper. So I'm using burnt sienna and picking up some Gamzol on my paintbrush to add to the burnt sienna. And this dilutes the paint similarly to how water would dilute watercolor. And I just cover the surface entirely. You don't have to do this. I just enjoy painting on a toned background more than a blank white one. Then I sketched the outline of the subject and just started applying the first color layer. I usually save all the details for the last layer, so I'm just trying to get all the basics down before refining the painting more, and gradually I'm adding a little bit of medium to the colors I use on my palette as I paint, which was a mixture of 50% Gamzol and 50% Galkid. Unlike a canvas or wood panel, I did not have to gesso this paper because it was already primed in the manufacturing process, so that saved me quite some time, but I'm still able to use the same techniques as I would have on a canvas or panel. The paper is heavyweight at 350 grams per square meter, and despite how much paint and medium I was using, it held up really well. There were no stains on the back, no oil seepage. Though you can't really tell from this camera angle, the paper has a traditional canvas texture like Belgian linen, which are actually some of the priciest canvases you can get, and this option is way more convenient with cost, storage, and traveling because you get multiple surfaces to work with per pad. The paper comes in three sizes, 9x12, 12x12, and 18x24. The 18x24 is available as individual sheets as well. There are 10 sheets per pad, and although the packaging says oil painting, you can actually use these with acrylics as well. Because this is a time lapse, it doesn't really show when there is drying time between layers, but I did allow the first round of colors to dry for a few days before going back to the face and refining those details. And once it looked a little more real and polished to me, I proceeded with painting the rose and the rest of the painting. She does have a crown of lights, but it doesn't look like it yet. I saved that detail for last, as you will see later. After I finished my first layer, I waited a few days for the painting to dry completely, and then I would need to use a technique called oiling out, which involves applying a medium over the painting. Um, and after my first color layer dried, you can see that the colors lost a little bit of intensity as they dried. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of that. And so in order to even out all the colors and be able to see the tonal values more accurately, oiling out is a technique you can use. And while the new oiled out layer is still wet, I go straight with the colors and start refining all the details and just trying to polish everything up. With the surface having that new wet layer of medium over it, the paint is almost buttery in its application. I love adding a little element of nature to my portraits, so I painted the rose, which roses have been making their way into my art for many years now, and I gave the model a crown of fairy lights because I thought they'd be interesting to paint and maybe also add a little extra spark or magic to the piece. I think the whole process took a little over a week and I painted on and off. There was some waiting time in between layers, but that is the final painting. So I hope you enjoyed this oil painting time lapse as much as I enjoyed creating the painting. And again, massive thank you to Strathmore for supporting my art and my YouTube channel. There are so many more paintings I can create now with all of this fantastic paper. And here's their website if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a beautiful and inspiring day. Thank you.